Maybe I plead the fifth on that one because, you know, in God we trust, everybody else pays cash, and Vince McMahon will always be a wrestling icon. It just nod your head when we're on. Hello, everyone, here at T Mart's The Gathering, and thank you. Uh, Marty for letting us uh, do this in Charlotte, North Carolina at the beautiful Hilton Hotel. Isn't this hotel? It's beautiful here. It's magnificent. And I'm here with, well, who are you today? Fred I, Ottman? You know, I'm Tugboat. like, I'm like that, that woman, you know, that has like 57 different personalities. And 57 boyfriends. Oh, not me, not me. No, 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 I different know that. Guy. I know I work I know for a certain that. company, but I, you know, I won't go there. I know. But I, uh, yeah. I'm Tugboat Typhoon, the Shockmaster, the B-A-double-D, Big Steel Man, and whoever yeah. you want me to be. Well, today I'm talking to Fred Ottman. That's it. All right, so what I want to know, there's been a, a, a really, a, a lot of things happening in the world of pro wrestling that have shaken mm -hmm. the world up. Vince oh. McMahon retiring. Did you ever think, no matter what the circumstances are, did you ever think that was going to happen? Uh, maybe I plead the fifth on that one because, you know, in God we trust, everybody else pays cash, and... Vince McMahon will always be a wrestling icon. Correct. Whether you hate him or you love him, he is the man. What did he do for, uh, for your career? What did he do for my career? He gave me an opportunity, like he'd given everybody else an opportunity to do something that we all love. Hopefully, everybody loves to do it. I know that it means a lot to me to be a, have been a part of this business. Being here today at this at the gathering, event today, yeah. the gathering, you know, I get to see my wrestling family that I've talked to different guys all throughout the morning, just like you. Yes. And uh, I, you know, and I get to see the, the, the wrestling fans Yeah. and the fans, you know, without I always say and the people get tired of it. But without the wrestling fans, the wrestlers are nothing and nowhere. That's true. Now, also another historical moment happened recently. Yes. Ric Flair Woo. wrestled his final match. Your reaction to that? God bless him, yeah. you know? And there's a lot of scuttlebutt and a lot of talk about his match and about the event. But you know what? I'd like to see anybody out there that's got a bad word to say about that legendary man. Yeah. And he is legendary. On top of being the greatest wrestler there's ever been, okay? The greatest promo oh, yeah. guy in the business. Yeah. Okay, he can turn the tables in any conversation on his opponent and make him look like a fool. You know, engaging in a battle of wits with Rick, not a in, good impossible. thing. Impossible, yeah. Lick your wounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are, tell everybody what you're doing these days. Uh, I'm doing a lot of this type stuff. And, right. and uh, I'm working on a little project for the last six or eight months uh, with uh, a guy named Avi Klein. It's a writer for Lionsgate Films. Oh. Okay. And he's I've got, heard of them, by the yes, way. Yes. Yeah. I've seen one or two of their things, maybe. Yeah. But anyway, uh, good guy. A lot of guy. A lot of great comedians, actors, okay, uh, television personalities, professional wrestlers like myself are doing uh, different things and uh, different scenarios. Right now, uh, I'm in the midst of a, a, a scenario with another good wrestler, Adam Baum, Brian Clark. Yeah, sure. And uh, a lot of twists, a lot of turns, uh, more along the lines of a horror type genre. And it, to me, it's a lot of fun. It's great. Uh, I can let him see the ugly side of Fred Ogman. Uh-oh. That's right. So I mean, it, it, it's a, you know, it's a great thing, and that soon uh, they're going 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 to go to uh, uh, YouTube with about fifty different individual shows with different characters. That's great from the business and beyond. That is great. Yeah, so, so it's great to be a part. Only because you brought this up, and I was a yes. huge fan when I was growing up. What was your favorite horror movie of all time? Gotta be Abbott and Costello meet, meet the Frank, Wolf Man, meet Frankenstein, Frankenstein and, the and Dracula, and the Invisible, and the Invisible man, man at the end. That was the finish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when whenever I talk to Jerry Lawler, 
Yes. He's a big horror movie fan as I am. Yes. And he always asks me to do this one thing. Yes. Do you remember in the Invisible Man movie, the black and white movie? Yes. The older lady goes up to see and she knocks on the door of Claude Rains, the Invisible yes. Man. And he says, oh, so you want to see what I look like, don't you? You remember that? Yes. And he starts to take off the bandages and she looks at him horrified. She grabs her head and goes, ah, he's got no face. <laughs> I needed Classic. a way to, do you remember that? Classic, yes. I that? am showing my age, okay? No, no, that's okay, Pete. You can yes. watch it on- uh, Even in reruns, you, I'm showing my you, age. You can, you can download it. It's, oh it's, my God. Uh, but yeah, that would have, but Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Yes. The quote from Luke Costello when he saw the Invisible Man, do you remember the quote? Oh no. This is yeah. the quote. I have it. Ah, that was it. I have it. That was it. Where can people find you on social media? <laughs> Fred Ottman, Facebook, same right. on Instagram. All right. Yes, I'm share with everybody. That, and quick question, is yes. uh, nobody around here? Is wrestling fixed? I didn't know it was broken. We'll see you at the matches. Yeah.